Binge eating disorder can lead to very rapid weight gain. And that rapid weight gain causes inflammation. It causes inflammation in the heart, in the pancreas, and in your gut. Hi, I'm Dr. Carolina Povian. I am the co-director of the Center for Weight Management and Wellness under Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Hypertension at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, and I am an obesity medicine specialist. This is Understanding Binge Eating Disorder. So what is binge eating? Binge eating disorder involves feelings of depression. So usually there's an underlying depressive disorder. There must be two or more episodes per week of overeating a large amount of calories. For example, people will eat two to 3,000 calories in a short period of time, 20 to 30 minutes. After that, it's associated with feelings of guilt and shame. Overeating once in a while, even binging once in a while, is not binge eating disorder. Binge eating disorder can lead to very rapid weight gain. And that rapid weight gain causes inflammation. It causes inflammation in the heart, in the pancreas, in your gut. That leads to heart disease, plaque formation and clogging of your arteries, leading to heart attacks and congestive heart failure eventually. It can also lead to diabetes because you're really overusing your pancreas and allowing for insulin secretion to be so high that eventually your pancreas burns out and you end up with diabetes. What are some of the triggers for binge eating disorder? They are feelings of depression, social isolation, anxiety, poor body self-image, and dieting. If you think you have binge eating disorder, it's very important to first talk to your primary care provider about your symptoms. Your primary care provider can then help you find a licensed therapist who can help you with cognitive behavioral therapy. Your primary care can also help you find a good psychiatrist or psychologist who can help you with an antidepressant or other treatments for binge eating disorder. Your primary care can also help you find support groups. Dietitians can be very helpful to assist in making plans for healthy eating. And the dietitian can help you with organized meal plans to keep you full with healthy food so that the binge is not triggered. Our study that we did at the Mass General Brigham that was just published shows us that overeating, especially carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates like sugar, releases stress hormones that lead to oxidative stress all over the body. The treatment for binge eating disorder is focused on targeting the brain to stop the binge eating. This study is groundbreaking because it shows that a calorie is not a calorie. Some people can take in all of these excess calories and burn them off as heat in the mitochondria. But we found that those people who tend to gain weight and have obesity don't burn those calories off as heat. They store it as fat. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Carolina Povian, and at the Mass General Brigham, we're here for you.